What's up guys? Today we're in Nashville, Tennessee. We got a really cool treat for y'all. I'm going to introduce you to a guy named Matt Sledge. You might have heard him from Mr. Nick Morello, Jersey Discount Tools. Well, he's got three trucks. It's called Tex Choice. So you guys come meet him and we'll take a look and see what he's got. Come on. What's up guys, how's it going? My name is Matt Sledge and this is Drew Nicolaitis. We're from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. It's about 30 minutes south of Nashville. We run Tex Choice and we want to show you inside of our truck, show you everything that we got. I don't know if this means anything, but I, this was a kind of cool thing I took down off the wall. And uh, I picked this up because, uh, you recording? Yeah. Shane, uh, Shane Mole that owns Milwaukee, or the president of Milwaukee, excuse me. Uh, my wife and I got put in professional tool and distributor many years ago. And uh, we never actually framed the uh, the, the front cover. So Shane said, I can't believe that it's never been done. This was done in my old Freightliner. Um, this is my second truck and uh, no smoking. That works out real well for mechanics. But, uh, but yeah, so they put on his own, but not alone is what the headline of it said. So I thought that'd be something kind of cool to do. And then many years later, um, during the recession, they uh, highlighted text choice again and uh, I don't know, kind of proud moment, having framed this one. So Shane, if you watch this, hey, we could use a nice frame, man. Send it to us. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I've been in the tool business for 20 years. I started out as a Cornwell tool dealer, 2001, and did Cornwell from 2001 to 2007. Ran into a little problem with the district manager. Apparently I wasn't buying enough tools from him, and uh, they wanted me to uh, up my purchase averages. So I decided at that point, they told me, they gave me two options. They said, you can up, up your purchase averages or you can get out. So I got out and whenever I got out in 2008 or actually December of 2012, uh, 2007, they, uh, they said I'd never make it. So it was worth a shot. I'd always heard about successful independence and uh, decided to give it a whirl. And uh, here we are today from 2008 to 2021. Um, got all the way up to a three truck team, uh, got into a bad motorcycle crash and uh, wasn't able to manage the third truck and had a little employee problem. And then I brought on this tough guy, Drew, step up here. Then I brought on, uh, then I brought on Drew and Drew runs my old Murfreesboro route. And I currently now run a route in Franklin, Tennessee. So Drew and I do quite a few, uh, quite a bit of business. Uh, average is about, Drew, what'd you do this week? Mm, almost 13 grand. He beat me. I did 10. So <laughs> we do about 20,000 to 22,000, something like that a week, you know. So not bad for an independent distributor. That's true. Not, not quite our old buddy, oh, uh, we'll call him uh, Yankee Nick. Yeah, we That's what we'll call, call him. Yeah, him. Yeah, we'll call yeah. him Yankee Nick. And uh, I'm well, sure Nick, he's doing more than us, but. Well, Nick made you famous overnight. You're, yeah, hey, you're absolutely, you're right about that, man, Clay, because uh, <laughs> Nick and I have had quite the battles, but. Well, I'll tell you what Nick did. He proved to the world how Southern people handle issues versus Northern people oh, yeah. handle the issues. Nick and I had a problem and we shared a lot of common uh, friends in the business. And a lot of our friends were like, look, man, 
you and Nick are too much alike. So you guys are going to have to get along. And uh, <laughs> I talked to those friends and he talked to his friends. And Nick was a little bit more upset about it, I guess, because we had a little, little indoor battle there for a little while. But I met him at the tool show and said, hey, man, we could get a lot more accomplished together than we could be an enemy. So we, uh, there you go. we had our talk and uh, I'm glad we did. Yep. Let me tell you this right here real quick. So Nick sells this juice, right? Mm-hmm. Well, and it works good too. It does work good. Actually, I got a spray bottle of it right here. So hey man, if you're a tool guy and you're, uh, and you're watching this video, reach out to Nick, he'll hook you up. So Nick, I told him to send me a bunch of these with labels. And Nick said, man, that label cost a dollar. I said, brother, keep the, keep the label. Save me a dollar. I'll put the old handy dandy text choice logo on it. But <laughs> I get around that a little bit, but I don't care to promote Nick. I call this like my Nick corner right here. I'm sure you guys have probably seen some of these on the actual video that Nick has. And what's it? Jersey, JDT Co. Uh, that name always confuses me because yeah. it's not really like predominant but yeah no J, you know, jd tico but hey man something. Not these sure are what it these is. are some nice pliers and uh we've actually sold a few sets a few you sold it's a few a sale, they are, they're good they're good pliers yeah they're good pliers man i sold a few and drew sold a few so i told nick i said man listen i'll help you out so nick sent me some of his uh shock straps you use these yes sir they're awesome yeah so nick sent me these i gotta be honest i haven't sold any yet i still got mine yeah but i did have a customer check this out so I had a customer that's from the north. I think he was in New York. So he had heard of Nick and uh, he watches his videos and he asked me as his tool man, if I could get him some shock straps. I don't even know what I pay for these clay. Nick probably sold them to me. What do you think there, 10 bucks? I hope so. I'm gonna sell them to my customer for like 18. So whatever, uh, whatever it takes, you know, you might be able to get one cheaper on Jersey discount tools, <laughs> but you're gonna pay me payments. So I'm gonna charge you a little bit. So, but this is the truck, guys. Um, a lot of people don't know what an independent truck looks like. They, uh, they get on an independent truck and they think, oh, that guy is just a big China seller and uh, sells a lot of junk. But if you look around, uh, we got quite a bit of stuff, man. Um, we carry everything from gear wrench to Sunex to Gray Pneumatic to Mayhew to OTC, all the leading brands in the uh, tool industry. So when you come to an independent truck, give that guy a shot Absolutely. i've had shops i've had shops that i've gone to for many many years or i'm sorry i've had shops that i just showed up to that have never heard of an independent and they actually refused to come to the truck because they thought i sold like harbor freight yeah. or something like that so being an independent is hard but once you sell it and you offer them a great price and you're offering the same product if you well, ever guys. if you ever considering going independent it's not that hard, guys. You can reach out to me, and I'll answer every question for you. Well, right here where I'm standing, look, I'm, I'm just going to move the camera, and this proves how valuable independent is. I got Milwaukee. He's got Lyle. He's got VIM. This is just in this spot. There's Gear Wrench. Like, it's all good stuff. There's Streamlight. And obviously, we'll take a, a closer look at a lot of your inventory in just a second, but just I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's not junk, all quality tools, and no pads. Most of the stuff <laughs> is sold on the other trucks, but with their name on yeah, it for at sure. a much 100%. higher retail price. Right. So, so before we get started in the truck, we've got our own pocket screwdrivers, man. <laughs> I want you to tell everybody your phone number because I'm sure there's going to be guys in the Nashville area that might yeah. not know about you. I mean, you may be way more famous than I think you are, but I'm, I'm going to say. There's I do have 14,000 14, followers on Facebook, so that's that's not. There may be some guys shabby. in this area that may not know about your trucks, and yeah. you know they may need some tools because obviously we're going to show some tools. That's and, right. Well, if you guys are out there and you're watching Coon Trucking, I kind of just learned about it, but man, this guy's got it going on. I'm telling you, he's got 500,000 views on some of his posts, and if you reach out and you're in Tennessee and you just hear the name. Once again, it's Matt Sledge, it's Text Choice. I call it Tools the Text Choose. So if you guys want to get in touch with me and I don't answer your phone, please leave me a message. But my phone number is 615-596-7012. Written right here on every uh, 
everything I got, man. Anything from the t-shirt to this. If you can't, if you don't remember the number, you can rewind this YouTube video and go back and play this. So, so what areas do you cover around the Nashville area? Mostly we run south of Davidson County, which is the lower Antioch is what we call it, LA. And then we run all of Rutherford County. That's what Drew runs. And then I run Williamson County, which is in Franklin. Um, it's about a, what would you say, Shannon? About a 40 mile radius from yeah. this location. Yeah. Um, we try to service as many people as we can. Our problem is time. Yeah. Uh, I get a lot of calls of people wanting us to, hey man, we buy tools at co-op or we buy tools in Old Hickory. And I just don't have the manpower and uh, I can only get to so many places, you know, And you at got once. three trucks. I do have three so. trucks. I had one shut down, so I'm not running that one. That route is in Laverne. So if any of you guys are actually watching this video, I'm still servicing Laverne. I work Monday through Thursday in Franklin. Friday I take off and uh, I run Laverne, mostly out of my Dodge truck or my minivan, whatever. You know, I did, I did say the dreaded word minivan. I'm so sorry, but dude, it's man I, van. I love man that van. van. That van, that's some, <laughs> that's some bitch is comfortable as all get out. So, but anyway, to service my customers, I'll run the product around, deliver it to them, take care of warranties, pick up payments. I still try to be um, a tool guy, even though I'm not there and I don't have anybody in that area. But I got a plan. I got okay. a son coming up and there's no reason to sell a truck that's already lettered up text choice. And anybody that's thinking about maybe wanting to get into this tool business could have a good opportunity for you. We also have a text choice that runs text choice Ohio. So for the first time, I actually sold a franchise of my business. One of my local customers here was the commercial representative for AutoZone. He moved to Ohio. He wanted to do the tool business and he bought my truck from me and a small franchise fee. I taught him the business. He came down, he rode with me for a little while and uh, I set him up in the business and he's been in the business for three and a half years. So three and a half or four. Yeah. And um, he's a successful, successful tool guy. So I won't lie to you as long as you don't compete against me. <laughs> so <laughs> if you want to start a tool route in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, probably not going to answer a lot of your phone calls. But if you're on the fence and you're a corn mold dealer or you're a Maco dealer and you're thinking that you can't make it, I'll be more than happy to answer any of your, uh, any of your questions or settle your nerves a, lo uh, a little bit about it. It's going to be okay. That's all I can say. Well, I know this. I know you said the Cornwell guy, and I'm gonna see if I can get a little pan. Said you couldn't make it as an independent. And all you guys are seeing is this little bit of stuff that we showed right here. But it's obvious that you can make it as an independent guy by looking at Matt's inventory that he's got on the truck. And like I say, we're gonna go through some of this stuff and show it to you. And I'm gonna ask Matt a few hard questions. Oh, I'm ready, man. Like, what are the hard questions? Like, this is all a pop test. This ain't been pre-rehearsed. You haven't heard any questions that I've asked. So, the first thing I wanna ask is what is your number one selling tool on your truck? Oh, by far. I mean, I got involved with Milwaukee, and as you can heavily, as you can tell, I'm heavily invested in the Milwaukee brand. They make the best tools in the market. But this little sucker right here, uh, the quarter inch ratchet, just really, just set everything on fire. I've had actual body men cry, literally, that this tool broke on them. They came <laughs> to the truck and they said, hey man, I need to send this tool off. Uh, how long is it gonna take? I said, man, it's gonna take seven, 10 days, something like that. Oh man, what do you mean? It's gonna take seven to 10 days. I uh, like, well, that's what it takes to send it off. And they reach in their pocket and they go out and they go buy another one. Uh, my other number one selling tool, and I'm not, I'm not uh, telling most anybody out there that's not a, not a tool man, they already know. Uh, I actually saw the first one of these at Integrated Supply Network in the parking lot and Hold I told- Hold on, let me stop you. Cause you're using the big words integrated supply network for everybody else that's ISN. ISN. That's what every single tool truck buys their, as they call, supplemental tools right. from. Right. Okay, right. carry on. That's my warehouse. So I drove to ISN for a tool show. Valerie came out at the time. Actually, Valerie works for Medco now. And uh, she said, Matt, you gotta have these. So she gave me a set. 
And I said, that's way too big. There's no way in hell I'll sell that thing. And it's got this funny offset on it. It's too fat. There's no way I'll sell it. Well, she's like, look, I don't care. You're gonna sell the, you're gonna sell the world out of them. So she gave me a set. I brought them to uh, Murfreesboro, started showing them around. And then guys started saying, how can I get my hands on one? How can I get my hands on one? So um, by far 300, 400 plus sets. Wow. I mean, I keep a drawer full of them here for taking care of anybody's warranties. I don't keep a drawer here full because they break all the time. But if you're a tool guy and you're watching this video, this tool's not treated very well, right? It's abused, used and abused. Used and abused. I've seen hammers, I've seen guys hanging off of them, big hefty, uh, hefty mechanics. But one of the newest tools on the block, that's my number one selling tool, is this little sucker right here. And I know you've seen it on the videos, uh, it looks but... looks just like the Snap-on light. I was about to say, uh, I've had a couple of people think we were selling a Snap-on light, but... This is 720 lumens. Got the strongest magnet in the industry. It sells for $39. Wow. I mean, come on. You know, 39 bucks. It swivels all the way around. It's got a battery indicator on it. It's warranted for a year. They're actually individually serial numbered. So this company is very cool if you're a tool man that's watching this. If you got warranties, they tell you to throw them away, they'll send you some new ones. Something you guys probably haven't seen. Have you seen one of these, Clay? Nope. This is Maxion's brand new light, wireless charger. Super popular light, I just got them this week. This is a thousand lumens with a focusable LED. But the best part about this is, it comes with this little magnetic base. So you mount this to your box, throw it on, mm -hmm. it charges. Cool. And if you want to save a little bit of money, it'll actually charge your cell phone, as opposed to buying one of these. I purchased these through Medco. So people call my truck the fun truck, okay? So they call it the truck of all kind of variety. I don't know how many of you mechanics are watching this that step on a Snap-on truck and Snap-on makes a great tool. I don't have anything to say bad about them. I think they make some of the highest end stuff in the world. There are a lot of other things that work a lot like Snap-on that don't cost as much. But when you get on a Snap-on truck, I hear all they got on there is pliers, wrenches, and sockets. Well, if you're a mechanic has been doing this for 30 years, you don't need, you already got pliers and ratchets and sockets. Or so, screwdrivers. Right, so come to the truck and get something, get something crazy. Like, you know, these body men, uh, great tool. Dent Fix came out with this tool uh, originally, cost about $36. I'm not gonna use uh, Astro and say that they copied it, because Lou from the company would be mad at me because I know him. And, uh, but they produced this 19 bucks, man. So, you know, these guys, uh, there are some other, there are some other brands mm -hmm. that, there are some other companies that make stuff that work just as good as the high-end manufacturers. That's half the price. A prime example of that is exactly right here. Oh, Clay. You see this, Clay. guys? It's Lang. That's if you've bought a set of snap ring pliers on pretty much any tool truck, who makes them? Lang. Lang. L Clay, I keep like I keep like three pair up here for warranty. Mm -hmm. Literally, I got three pair up here for warranty. I never warranty these days. They don't break. I They're never good. warranty them. Astro makes them. OTC makes them. Cornwell makes them. Snap on sells them for two hundred dollars. One hundred twenty nine bucks on Text Choice. The master so, set too. Master set, 12. You get a 90, a 45, a straight in four different sizes. So well, uh, that's the same way with the slack adjuster tool. Yeah. Lang makes it for every yeah. single tool truck. Right there it yeah. is. He's pointing to it on the front wall yeah. up there, right there. That is a great kit right there. Here if you, you do air brakes, that right there is the kit to have. You guys jump on a snap-on truck and buy you a set of blue point filter pliers, okay? They're gonna come in a little packet. It looks a lot like this. Let me tell you who the manufacturer is. CTA. CTA is the manufacturer of it. So you can go pay. I think Snap-on sells this for 109. Four-piece set. Super nice. You jump I've on got a, that set. You jump yep. on a Text Choice truck. Sixty-two dollars, guys. Sixty-two bucks. Not because we're not making any money off of it. It's coming direct from the manufacturer. So some of your advantages of buying off of an independent is it doesn't have to go through the labeling process. The franchise making money off of it. The dual man making money off of it. It goes straight from the manufacturer well, to when, me, and then when on. you're um, when you're independent too, you're not having to pay that franchise fees every year. Right. Exactly. You know that eight or ten thousand dollars, that brings your overhead down, which means your profits don't have to be as high. And it's right. still carrying the same warranty too. So. Right. 
So if a guy comes on here and he wants a set of open end box hand wrenches, per se, what are you going to hand him? Well, I gotta be careful because I'm on both sides of the fence. I know a lot of people in the corporate Milwaukee. I know a lot of people in the corporate gear wrench. It, de it really depends on their price point, what they're looking for, and uh, kind of just personal preference on how it feels. Uh, gear wrench, you would come to the truck and uh, you would want to buy something like this. I, I sold this for a long time. I, I still have some in stock. I sold them on Thursday. I was hoping the guy didn't buy them so I could show them off in this video, but the Milwaukee Max Bite double flank drive with the hex cutout in it, phenomenal wrench, Clay. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, really good. So, no, no, I'm not taking anything away from gear wrench. But if a guy comes on the truck, I try to keep him in the gear wrench because I try to carry just a few lines. That way I can always take care of the customer and I'm not carrying 40 different brands so that I don't have it. Anything somebody buys from me, I try to have it week after week after week after week because the tool job is not only about selling tools and, you know, selling tools and making a profit. It's a lot about service. So yeah, tool truck costs a whole lot of money and people are always bashing on tool trucks. Oh, I can get it cheaper on the internet. I can get it cheaper from, what's the name of that company? J. Oh, yeah. JD, JDT, they can get it cheaper from JD Tico or something. <laughs> but dude, guys, this is all a, about service. So I try to sell whatever I can service the most and I keep about everything on this truck gear wrench. Uh, just an example. I know that's not the most organized, but guys, check it out. I've been busy. Got a lot going on. So um, I just try to keep everything that you might need on the truck at that time. I'll show you something weird, Clay. You got any of these, bro? No. Ever seen them? You know what they are? They look like stubby, large wrenches is what they look like. Okay, guys, I ran a route in Laverne when I first started in the cornwheel business, so I ran everything heavy duty. Here's the part number, somewhere on here. 9215. You ain't gotta buy them from me, but if you can't find them anywhere else, I'll sell them to you. These are hydraulic wrenches, so they're real thin. Mm -hmm. They get into some tight areas, but if you're taking off a hydraulic line, you get in, smack it with a hammer. Uh, I was trying to think of the company that made these. Martin, Martin was the name, but Martin was a USA tool. This is made overseas, but Martin is a USA tool. They're two or three hundred dollars. This set's about a hundred and hundred and ninety, but it goes up to an inch and five eighths. Honestly, if you're a heavy duty mechanic. I know these things look like they're cheap. I don't warranty them either. They're lifetime warranty. They're individually part numbered. They, uh, if you break one, they give you credit on it. Um, you're taking off something as simple as a hydraulic wrench, a hydraulic fastener. So you're not talking about, you know, a thousand foot pounds of torque to take something right. off. So this is a specialty set of wrenches that I keep on the truck all the time because I sold them for so many years. And believe it or not, a lot of guys come to the truck looking for them. So, um, Gear wrench in Milwaukee are probably my number one two selling uh, selling wrenches of, of anything. Uh, Milwaukee's really, really, really stepping it up on the hand tool side of things. We actually missed a great opportunity today. Milwaukee had sent me some prototype stuff that's actually going to be media release uh, next week. Said it was shipping today, and while we were going to lunch, it looked like it was getting dropped off, but. I had some stuff that was state of the art, man. It was going to be brand latest, new. Latest, greatest. That's what latest, like. greatest, and something you guys ain't never seen. But it's on the truck for Monday. But I'm going to send them to Clay, and maybe he can plug me later, and he can put it on uh, Coon Trucking for another video. Sent by Matt Sledge and Drew Nicolaitis. <laughs> so, guys, y'all see a woman standing in the background, too. Let me yeah, introduce yeah, this lady right here. This is my wife, Shannon. She's the one in the old... She's the one in the old professional tool and distributor back in 2008. So, uh, you know, around. she's still around, baby, still around. And if you wives are watching this video, tool man ain't an easy life. No. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> shout out to all the ladies that might be a tool man's wife because job ain't easy. It's, it's a lot more than just driving around in an air conditioning yeah. truck. Yeah, you might have to drive the truck one day. What yeah, my wife actually about? drives the truck. You guys just ride around. That's all you do yep. all day. Ride around, hang out. That's it. Hey, I got a seat behind my desk over here. Yeah, I just ride around. <laughs> I just ride around. 
And as, just ride around, and as hang Nick out says, with people all they day. just throw money in the window. That's it. And I drive on to the next stop. Throw money at you. I'm uh, Nick's favorite pledge. He tolerates yeah. Matt. <laughs> but he's only friends with Matt because he really wants to be friends with me. And that's yeah. Cool. Well, you definitely have got a lot of tools on this truck and a lot of good stuff. We try to keep a good variety. We try to keep extras of, you know, whatever whatever we're looking for. You know, you can't go anywhere without some tool truck beef jerky. Guys, if you need to get some good beef jerky for your truck, and you may be buying it from somebody that never answers your phone call, call Divine Bovine, Well, I guess. that is a good name yes. for some beef jerky. Yes, it is. They come out of California. It's very affordable. The dude's very cool. He sent it to me. Uh, that it's could got, be the, the best thing ever come out of California then. Yeah, yeah, you're right about that. Right. Uh, like they've burnt diesel engines. At least they ain't killed the beef jerky. Yet. Yeah. Well, it's really soft. It's actually really good. I mean, I like to gnaw on beef jerky, but this, that, the worst thing about this beef jerky, and you tool men will laugh, this ends up being lunch, you know? So if you're in a hurry, you're late, you ain't got nowhere to go. Yeah. Shit. I got to eat another bag of beef jerky. <laughs> so. I don't know if my diaphragm's gonna be able to handle that much beef jerky. Yeah, or blood pressure with the salt. So, a um, lot of different unique things right here too. I know you've seen them already, or maybe you haven't, but Milwaukee's got uh, new covers out. They're green, we got red, we got black, uh, we got stubbies, we got die grinders. You know, we got all kind of different different tools on the truck. I know you, uh, this is a brand new light right here out by Milwaukee. This is, uh, I think they call this thing the pivot, but it's a 12 volt light with a magnet on the back of it. Cool. So you can stick it on, uh, stick it on your Milwaukee air compressor. Do you see many air compressors on tool trucks? I have not seen, I've seen, you know, the inflator and I've bragged about this cause this thing, if you own a vehicle, you need to have one of these in the trunk. Oh, Clay, that's the, best, that's the best tool ever. But the air compressor is cool. Like I could see guys that do trim work. Like, oh, man, man, that is that is the king. If right you want to outdo your neighbor, buy one of these right here. The best part about this thing is that's how loud it is. Wow. That thing's super quiet. Puts out 130 PSI, got a two gallon tank. It'll shoot 1600 nails out of a nail gun. So Milwaukee's changing their whole platform where they're going from making battery power tools to making air compressors to run air tools. So they're just kicking the air tool companies right in the teeth, man. So it's uh Well, speaking of air tools, and I'm the guy that you probably don't like, but my theory is if I can't break it loose with my 3 8 battery gun, uh -huh. I'm getting out my half inch pneumatic. Okay. I still like air. It's lighter. It's faster. It never runs dead. And if I drop it and get oil in it, guess what? It ain't hurt it. So what do you carry for air impacts? I don't carry a lot, man. Carry this stubby stuff that's unique. I did sell a 2235 last week. That's the Ingersoll Rand 2235. I carry the stubby because that's still a really popular tool. But I got an air tool on my truck that you guys have probably never seen. You probably never ordered it. You probably... Um, I got to step beside you, Clay. Okay. Uh, this is a 15 inch. Holy uh, cow, that is cool. 15 inch Aircat, 3 8 75 foot pound, super reach ratchet. Holy shit. I mean, this is weird. So people come out the truck looking for weird stuff. You so, know? what is the uh, foot pounds on that? 75 foot pounds. Man, that is a hand breaker right there. And that Matt cool. McKegney from uh, Aircat, uh, they developed this tool and they never met a head kit for it. Honestly, I haven't sold it in a minute, so I don't know if they have a head kit for it available. But saying that, if you buy one of these from your tool man, they can't fix them. So send it back into the manufacturer, they give you a brand new tool. So they can't all, beat that. all because the head kit's bad. That's so, the one you throw 150 PSI shop air, don't worry about oil in it. Just yeah. run that puppy. <laughs> yeah, let her eat. Yeah, I do sell a few half-inch drives. I trade in a lot of uh, I trade in a lot of air tools, but this right here has really been a game changer. I'm not telling. I'm not showing you anything new, yeah. but this thing here, I mean, it just you just can't beat it. You know, I'm not really a mechanic. I don't use tools every day, but I even have one of those in my Dodge truck just for the fear of driving down the road and maybe breaking down. How well, quick you could be. What I like about it to keep in a truck is if you've ever tried to use that crappy lug wrench that comes with your truck. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. That sure makes it easier. Yeah. Uh, what yeah. I like on your truck, like you got stuff like these rope ratchets. These things are awesome. I've never seen those on a tool truck. Have you not? And those are amazing. Okay. Okay, fellas. Please buy these. This was a mistake for me on an order. I had a guy come in my truck. He said, hey man, I want a rope ratchet. I said, what the hell are you talking about? I said, you need these things. This is a caliper hanger. If you need to hang your caliper up, you use this. He's like, no, 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 fool. He said, this thing is a caliper hanger. This is totally adjustable. You hang it on the shock tower, hook your caliper to it, and you zip it right up to right where it has to be. Yep. That's not the only use. So I've seen guys using these for all kind of things. They'll hang them under the rail of a car. They'll tie a drive shaft up with it. That's what I was gonna say. This right here, I, I obviously wouldn't use that one on a big truck. Yeah. But if you guys are doing transmission jobs or taking you know, your drive shaft out of an 18 wheeler, this right here is your best friend. You run it under the frame, hook it on one side, run it under the other side, pull it tight, take your U-bolt joints, or take your U-joint bolts out, you're not having to fight with a 150 pound drive shaft. With a drive line socket. And life is grand. Your hernias, oh, your yeah. hemorrhoids, oh, yeah. your back, yeah. your bicep, and your solar plexus yeah. will thank you. Yeah, I never thought I would buy these. If you're an independent dealer and you want to get hooked up, I know the people that uh, sell them to you direct, okay? So you can make pretty good money on them. I'm not gonna disclose what they sell for, but if you what? need to know. You need to tell me what they retail for. Oh, this little tool right here sells for $12. The little one? Yeah, this little one, okay. 100 pounds, okay, guys? Sells for 100 pounds. But if you look around this tool truck, I got them used everywhere. I got them holding my Milwaukee in. I got them holding my Milwaukee back there. What is the big ones This big one, for? The big one holds 500 foot pounds, and this one sells for $35. Okay. But I got them in eight foot length, and I got them in 15 foot length. There's like a dollar and a half difference in the price, so I just charge the same price because I don't want two part numbers in my uh, in my system. Well, so, I need I need one of each. Yeah. To put in my pile. These for $15.99. No, these are 12. This is a hundred foot pound. Oh. Those are the 150 foot pound, okay. or 150 pounds. So, you know, cool. Drew may sell stuff cheaper, but I'll find out about it, and that shit'll quit. <laughs> well, see, I'm actually gonna end up having a pile on your truck. That's usually what I do on all my tool trucks. You'll see me like put stuff in a pile. That's yeah. what I buy. So, like, I've done seen a whole bunch of stuff you that I'm gonna have to load you up. You seen on. one of these? I have. Okay. I've got one. Oh, you're awesome. Yes, yeah. sir. Nice. Well, you know, Lyle. If uh, you guys do soldering work. Go ahead and show it, because I don't even remember if I've All shown it right. on a video. So what's different about this tool versus this tool? Yep. This is the Lyle, kind of a cheapy little brand. It's a good company. Great, great, great company. Love Lyle. But the magnets aren't as strong. Whereas this tool here, your magnet is on the base. So the magnet is super flexible. stout and it's flexible. If you're on a workbench, it puts it up at ride height. And you squeeze both of these. You put your wire in there, your wire goes in the middle, holds it real well, it's made in the United States. It's just a really good soldering holder. If you're doing wire uh, uh, repair, please get one of these. Yep. You'll love They're it. Soldering's the only way to go. I sell the full out of them. They've been on back order for a little while. I just got that too. Actually, one of these I think is for you. Yeah. And uh, they just came off back order just now. Oshenmacher makes them. Mike Oshenmacher is a super, super, super cool guy. Very accessible. You call Oshenmacher, the guy answers the phone. Mike Oshenmacher. Can't beat that. No, you talk directly to the guy that's making the tool. Sweet. Yeah. All right, so I guess we'll go take a look and see what Drew's truck's got on it. Yeah. Is his setup different or same stuff? Uh, we try to put things in the same area, but uh, Drew's truck's newer. Drew's driving a 2020 uh, Freightliner. This is a 2001 International. But uh, yeah, his truck's way brighter. And uh, who goes out and buys a brand new truck and gives it to their employee? A good <laughs> boss. That's what does it. That's right. Yeah. What is, Nick, what, Nick calls you the number two tool dealer in the United States. He calls me the number two tool guy. But I'm not a real big online guy. So if far as tool men go right i would think i would put myself as far as because if you're gonna say you're a tool man you're actually driving a truck right yeah how many trucks does nick have again i think nick's got one truck okay yeah one truck <laughs> and uh i've got three but as far as tool trucks go yeah i'm probably beating nick online goes volume goes all that type stuff nick's beating me for sure but 
We love Nick. Though. We love Nick. Nick's awesome, dude. Nick's a good dude. Or I wouldn't have his stuff on the truck here for sale. <laughs> I think it's got something to do with his name, though. I think that's what's really holding him back. Nick All 5 right. minus 1 yeah. is uh, probably uh, probably my favorite fan out of all of it. So, if you two men are watching this, uh, I wrote down a couple things. Have you ever heard of this? Uh, hey, man, I need to get a quarter inch ratchet. Oh, man, I just sold it at my last stop. Your front seat's always full of cardboard. You'd have been in between shops and you peed in a Coke bottle. <laughs> yeah. Today, everything's all cash, no car, uh, all cards, no cashed. And uh, you ever stand here as a tool man and scratch your head and you got this many tools on the truck and you're getting ready to walk into a shop and you can't figure out what to carry in, you stand here for 15 minutes? Does that happen to you? I don't know. Just a few shameless plugs about tool, tool life. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty rough. I got to give a shout out to a customer of mine. His name's Zach. He watches your videos all the time, man. His name's Zach from Franklin, uh, Auto Doctor. Man, Zach's a really good dude. He loves your videos, man. He follows them every time. Cool. He well, I got something for you, for him, before we leave. Don't let me forget it. Okay. Because so. I know you sent me the picture, so I yeah. got a little something. Yeah. All right, so we'll go take a look and see what Drew's got on his truck, and then we'll wrap this up. So you guys, come on. Ooh, those step lights are cool. <laughs> I think the heat, they, they look the heat's cool. been on inside here on accident. <laughs> let me let yeah, me look hot. around here a minute, cause man, like everybody talks about my Mac guy's truck, how loaded it is with tools, and these trucks are just as full. Like you guys have got some inventory, there's no doubt. Man. All right, sorry about that, Drew. I was oh, it's all right. Yeah. Rusting over your inventory. I'm sorry. I'm still a tool lover at heart. I know. I, I was a tech for 15 years before I started working for Matt, and uh, I still get a little giddy every once in a while when something new comes out. So it's nice, man. So you run the same area? So I took over Matt's route about two and a half, three years ago. Um, I worked under him for about a year training, trying to get the route. I'm from, I lived, I've lived in this area for a while. I worked as a technician in this area, but never as a tool man. So uh, about two years ago, I took over the route after riding with him for a while. So it was kind of an easy transition because I already knew all the customer base, what they wanted, what they bought and everything. So it was pretty easy, but yeah. It's a, it's a pretty big growing area too, Rutherford County, so. And it's nice if I have a question, I can always call him. He's just 45 minutes away, so not right. too bad. That's cool. Yep. So um, what's your phone number in case people need to get it? My to number is 615-987-5777, and that's my cell number. number pretty easy, <laughs> so. Say it again. 615-987-5777. So what is your number one selling or most Man. requested or what do you have a hard time keeping the supply up for the demand? I you? would say the, uh, the double ended mountain wrenches. Mm -hmm. um, we sell a lot of those. Matt sold them for multiple years before I started working for him. So I still to this day, every once in a while, I have a guy that I warranty out his from like seven years ago, but they do hold up. Um, and if you break them every week, then you break them every week and you know, we'll replace them. That's the good part about the lifetime warranty. Right. But, uh, I'd say, Milwaukee man, chainsaws. This guy's like a Milwaukee chainsaw we sell a lot of chainsaws, tool. man. You'd think on a tool truck, not a chainsaw, but I mean, they make a good product, you know, blowing these right here. and the new streamlights, yeah. the 2020s, yeah. these things are awesome, man. I'm actually looking at purchasing 30, one of those. 35 of those in stock guys. I'll make you the best price. That's right. It's got a screwed up on an order. They were hard to get. Now we got 35 of them. You got a dimmer indicator on there. Mm -hmm. You got a light that indicates when it's on and off, like you can't see the light already. And the cool part is Streamlight has swapped their batteries over from their original batteries to little 18650 batteries that are individually chargeable, which is pretty cool. And these guys are really, really cheap if you ever have to replace them. Cool. So still got so a lifetime no warranty on the light. Tea batteries like you could go to a battery plus or something yes like technically that. yeah yeah 18650s yep uh, is the part number right. i tell people all the time on this light if you want to buy this light and you left your charger at home and you get to grandma's house in michigan say you don't live there you need to charge your light simple cell phone just yep. take it and plug it in and your lights back micro working. usb yeah. yep. and you're good to go. everything's going to that so and, uh, 
you know, it's uh, cool. It's two thousand lumens, guys. I mean, two thousand. Super lumens, duper bright. And I like the way the grip set up on that. They did a good it's job. Different, because like I hold my flashlight with the the head facing out, and the way that cut exactly. out, it, it works. Kind of fits nice yeah. in your hand. Yeah. And like but, if uh, you're the guy that holds it on his cheek because yeah. the handle's flat. I've had a couple guys that. complain that they can't hold it in their mouth like they could on the old one. But I mean, <laughs> hey, who's to judge? So I don't know. <laughs> Those and the uh, the stubby <laughs> impacts, the Milwaukee stubby impacts, sell a lot of. Show you something else cool, Clay. Show on that, Drew. Drew keeps so the CTA extra deep oh, little CTA yeah. plug charge sockets. air cooler lines. Super. I mean, they don't make charge air cooler plumbing. You know, everything, yeah. man. Suspension stuff, whatever. But these are awesome too. Lifetime warranty. Amazing. So a lot of these guys. We got the rope ratchets too. Mm -hmm. Tell about how many of these you sell? Man, that's a tough one, dude. Yeah. What is that, so four and a quarter? Uh, this is three and seven eighths. Three and seven eighths. It's only a three hundred and fifty dollars socket. Mm -hmm. Expensive socket. Hey, if any of you guys need a three and seven eighths, I'll make it the best deal in the world. I'll sell this to you for one hundred twenty-five bucks. There you go. Three hundred dollars from Gear Wrench. <laughs> or if you got a like, if you got a very expensive ashtray fetish, you'll still hook them up. Yeah, there you go. Up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just wanted the I just wanted the tool or doorstop. Yeah. So. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a newer product Gear yeah, came the out bolt with. Biters the Bolt Biters. The Bolt Biters. I don't know if you've done a review on I these did. yet, but they are awesome. And what I like is you can put the bolt back in or they'll exactly. work Exactly. You know, right-handed thread, left-handed thread, it doesn't matter. That's what I've told a couple of customers. If, you, if you're working on a buddy's car and you don't like mm -hmm. them, you can always put a strip bolt that's back it. in if you need to. <laughs> but, yeah, of course, we have multiple sets and the bigger set, set and everything, too. So, you know, we try to keep it covered. Clay, you're a heavy-duty guy. You seen this tool right here on a snap-on truck? I do. I actually bought that, and it was a Blue Point version. Okay. And I think it was like a hundred and seventy dollars, maybe. Goodness. Yeah, this one's a hundred and nine dollars, direct from Tex Choice. So this is what I'm saying, fellas. Um, you know what I use that for? And it's not even for what it's designed for. I use that for sucking the oil or fuel out of, out of injectors. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, like when you pull injectors yeah. out, you can clean it out. Spray it over at your buddy. But yeah, like <laughs> like tools like this right here. Uh, actually, I got to give Nick a little credit. Nick Jr. found uh, these and hooked me up with the company, and we bought I think ten or twelve. Quite got, a bit, yeah. I got this one left. But you might walk on a snap-on truck and see this. It's on the Tex Choice truck too. I think it was a hundred and seventy that I paid for that. And I think, to be honest with you, I think my dealer cut me a deal on it. I don't know what the actual list price okay. is, but he, he did. American-made right. deal. Uh, and they're sure. worth it. I'm you sure know. some of the guys watching this video will be like, oh, I got one of those. We didn't buy it from the Snap-on guy. No, nope. I think they're it. actually made to use with brake cleaners. They are. But Clean off skid plates, you know, yeah. after an oil change or whatnot. Hey, you got to do what you got to do, right? Yeah. That and then gear wrench screwdrivers. We sell a lot of gear yeah. wrench screwdrivers. Really everybody's good. like, man, Snap-on screwdriver, yada, yada, yada. Well, most of the time when you break a Snap-on screwdriver, I mean, I personally have owned them too. The You bring them on the truck and before, before, years and years, uh, go uh, break him, break him in, him in his box. Break him in, like yeah, yeah. I sold because you know how it is when you pay that money for <sighs> you hope it goes in the casket with you, but it breaks in half and you bring it to the truck. And the guy just wants to replace half of it, not the he whole thing. Replaces the He's not gonna blade. replace the handle yeah. or vice Screw versa. That. No, we're gonna swap it with a whole new screwdriver. Like, you know, we're not gonna just replace half the screwdriver. Mm -hmm. So, I think that's a little bit of a, a benefit on that, too. And it's probably half the price of what he's selling them for. So and you got the wine back kits, pressure testers. Y'all got everything. This is these are great sets too. I'm gonna be mm -hmm. honest with you. I think Lang has Amazing the best company. kits made. You'll see that on a Mack truck. So I think they're in a red case. Yeah. Uh, in a in a Mack truck. So to be honest with you, I think Snap-ons are made by them too. Really? Like I don't know. Like Lang's never come out and said, "Hey, we sell the Snap-on." Yeah. yeah. But. When you look at them, I, I think Very similar. probably Lang makes them probably for everybody if the truth's known. And then we sell uh, all tail scanners. Mm -hmm. um, they're awesome. Good customer service. Uh, what else, man? It's just, you won't everything. always find the brand on the truck, but you'll find the person that makes the stuff. Like they always, a lot of people ask me, they say, what is Tex Choice? Is that like a manufacturer or something? And no, we're just a name, three trucks, just a local company. But we don't make any of this stuff, man. What is your impact sockets of choice that you, like if a guy comes in here and says, man, I need some impact sockets, where are you going to sell them? 
Uh, Gray Pneumatic or Sun X. Mm -hmm. um, those, those are two super great awesome warranties. They hold mm -hmm. up well. The yep. Duo socket. The, the Duo duos. socket's awesome. Guys, how many times? I'm, I'm not talking to y'all too. I think I'm we sorry. have a I'm set right my there. Guys that always listen to watch my channel. Yeah. How many times have I told you the best sockets for the money are gray pneumatic Duo sockets? They're tough. They're they not take, bulky. They're, they're as thin as chrome, designed for an impact. They're cheap. Great warranty, great case. Like they are the best sockets for the money. Yep. Without and they a doubt. make stuff like this, you know, the 10 millimeter deep well, magnetic. Mm -hmm. I mean, what a great, I mean, what a great product. You go to some other truck, this sock would be thirty dollars. Off our truck, I'd maybe like twenty at the most, and maybe right. even seventeen to be honest with you, because I think the set's one hundred nineteen dollars for eight to nineteen right. magnetic. And you keep them in stock, keep and that is, ready to roll that is the, big the full kid, set right there. Yeah, this is all the uh, this is all the socket area. Man, y'all got a ton of tools on this truck. We try to keep them in here too, Glay. So we're not uh, we're we try to keep the truck serviced also. So if you don't see it on the shelves, we have uh, we have it all right here. So. It looks like some truck's inventory just in these drawers. I would have to say. <laughs> exactly. <right there>. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Those are really cool. If you're a tool guy, put that on your truck, mm -hmm. please, and you'll sell the fire out of those things. What I like is, you know, it, 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 if you put it back, you always know your funnel is. Exactly. And well, then, two, the way it lets it all drain back down there, there's no mess under it. It's like just. This. You put all your other funnels in it. True. And then they all drain into that. That's true. Some people wanted me to turn that into like a redneck urinal. And I'm like, eh, no, I don't think so. I got to have a bigger bottle. I'm just going to throw right. that out there. Yeah. <laughs> like that ain't enough for, you know. A few coldies, you know, going back. I'm usually about a four beer and take a leak guy myself. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, uh, Sounds about right. You know a guy that's got a bathroom on his tool truck? Man. Yeah, I heard there's a tool guy. I think he's in New Jersey or something. New Jersey. I heard he doesn't get off his truck either when he pulls up to oh, a stop. Yeah. He pulls up and he goes, what does he say? He does He does one of these. <sighs> Man, he. Yeah, that's about it. That's about it. So. If you hear a tool guy roll up and all he does is toot toot that, I wouldn't buy tools from him. <laughs> Oh my! No, man, oh it's just my. I don't know, yeah, dude. You gotta go inside the shop. I don't go. think he's handicapped or nothing either. I think no, he's, he's capable of walking. He's losing weight. He's yeah, he's, he's looking good, but exercising, working those. Buttons. I don't know, man. But yeah, he's got a bathroom on his truck. So if you ever need to go to the bathroom in New Jersey area, no, that's you a fine. Private, that's a private Nick's bathroom. Truck. He's, I think he's, made, he, he's made that clear on his video. Uh, that's that's for his yeah. his use only. His stuff only. And then, uh, Which I can't I've blame him. It. He's never I can't video, blame him because he has to be the one to empty it. You know. Hey, hey Drew, it could just be a hole in the floor. It could be. You know, it could be. It could just be a hole in the floor. This, is, a, this is an awesome new torque wrench too that just came out with, from Gear Wrench. Yep. Um, their old torque wrench was pretty awesome, but it didn't do angle torque. Mm -hmm. So this is the new 120 XP, and it does do angle torque. And uh, we've had pretty good success with these. Sold quite a bit of these in the past couple of weeks. Which me and you talked off camera, and I was telling you, I've got that one and yeah. the quarter inch. Yep. And I like them. They work really good. Oh, yeah. They're a very affordable. Mm -hmm. And if you can't, if that torque wrench there is too complicated for you to work. You oh, yeah, it's very be, simple, man. The you operation don't need jerks. to be torquing nothing. No, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you don't know where the head bolt's in the first place. But, yeah, these are all, just some of the various stuff that we sell, man. What about uh, these guys? All those thin wrenches. The Vim thin yep. wrenches. I sell a lot of these, man. Awesome Vim They're is an super. awesome company. They are. Too. Don't let me pick on Maco here. I'm so sorry for saying this, but they have the exact same set. It is full polished chrome in the same case. It's $140, guys. These are $88 from our truck on payments. That's not, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not cash price. Mm -hmm. $88 on payments. I mean, oh, what a hang on. Did you hear what this guy just said? I'm so sorry to put down Matco. They're no, no, great, I'm not talking great, about that. Great company. I'm not talking about that. He gave you a price for payments, but then mentioned a word called cash price. Cash price. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not a lot of tool dealers want to talk about that. Well, so you guys just keep that in mind. Yet. So if y'all see something on Matt's truck that you want, and you call him, obviously you're gonna be paying in full when you call him. So, cash price. <laughs> Which, 
We'll oh, work that's with technically you. it'll be cash price, but well, it depends on how much pay, we can paid you in buy fifty thousand dollars. Paid in full, cash. paid in full price all at one time. Yeah. I guess yeah. discount. So. I'm gonna have a little problem hiding fifty thousand dollars, but if you need some eighty eight dollars, hey, I bet you there's a guy happen. in New Jersey that knows how to clean that up. Oh right. man, I'm just gonna say he may not know, but I bet he knows a guy. He might know. He might have a, a cousin. I think he's part of the mafia or something down there. Man. Look, I got a buddy of mine that's in New York. They know a guy that knows a guy. Like those are the guys that you want to know. No, no, no. Nick, Nick told me that at the tool show. Those Nick are the told, guys Nick, you Nick, know. Nick told me that he was going to send some people down here to take care of me. <laughs> in Vegas? Is this in Vegas? The... <laughs> this was in Vegas. Oh, okay. He told me he was going to send some people down here to take care of me. Nick's a tough guy, but he's really a teddy bear at, at heart. I love Nick. Yeah. Like, a lot of people don't like he's Nick. Really I a love teddy Nick. Bear at heart. I mean, I've been to his house. I've ridden his snowmobiles. I've slept in his cabin. We talk to each other every single day. And you guys might hate me for that, but give him a shot. If you're a tool guy, reach out to him. He's not, you know, you know the people that hate Nick the people are just haters. They're just haters. Like, right. Those are the same guy that don't call their mom. Haters going to hate. <laughs> like, seriously, those are the guys that won't even call their mom. Like, haters are going to hate. Nick's haters a great guy. Hate. You Say, uh, Nick's into some big things. He'll 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 do well. He'll help us out. Oh, that's his best friend. You haven't right plugged there. your boy, yeah. Oh, Luke from Easy Red. Luke to see yeah. Luke. I like Easy Red tools, and so I like their lines, especially this looks, their neck lines. This but looks, I don't wear them around my neck. You wear them around your head. I wear them around, around my, yeah, because you know it, what? When I turn my head, my lights is still facing forward. That's right. If I put them on above my ears on my cap where they're comfortable. Everywhere I look, I got light. It's like magic. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Yep. It's crazy. This one looks real similar to another brand that's out there, but oh, ours is <laughs> half the price. So, you know. What are those, $24, Drew? Uh, the battery operator, 24 and the rechargeable are 59 On account, guys. On account. Cash. Ooh, yeah. Cheaper Don't cash. Don't tell nobody. Or PayPal. There or you go. Or well, we got both, app. you know, so. <laughs> or Cash App. We take about every kind of form of payment. All right, so one more time before we wrap this up. Let's get your phone number again, Drew, and then we'll get All Matt's right. phone Andrew number Andrew Nicolaitis, 615-987-5777. And I'm in the Murfreesboro area, so give me a call. That's Drew's number if you need to go back and watch the video. All I right. sent you mine earlier. Mine's not as easy as his. 615-987. 596-7012. Murfreesboro, Tennessee, 30 miles south of Nashville. We service three or four different warehouses. We can get you the stuff in one to two days if you're out of state. They did just pass a new law about charging tax in different states. So according to your state, I might have charged sales tax. I'm not sure. I if you know a guy, some. you know a guy, send him some cash, you know a guy. Yeah, That's yeah, all yeah. I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Exactly. Make it happen. All right, guys. So thank you all for hanging out with us. As you see, Tex Choice, Matt Sledge, Woo! and Drew, they have some awesome trucks, service a big area, full of tools, lots of goodies. Call them both, save some money, use that double secret password, cash <laughs> price. There you go. All right, guys, like always, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes is down here. Call these guys, save some money. Hit that subscribe button. See ya. Boom. Ha, 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 ha.